Well, the Washington Post had a busy weekend producing garbage, along with a 6,000-word fawning, groveling, slobbery profile of Stacey Abrams. They also put out this op-ed by former Obama official Evelyn Farkas. The piece warns you, and we're quoting now, Russia is interfering in our elections again, and Trump supporters are emulating Russian tactics. For real, she wrote that. She's like the last Japanese soldier on Okinawa emerging from the jungle 20 years later, believing the war's still going. Apparently, she missed the Mueller report, which found no evidence of Russia collusion. Farkas brags, in light of her ignorance, that in March of 2017, we're quoting, I sounded the alarm early regarding ties between Trump, his advisors, and Kremlin officials. She writes like she thinks, woodenly. Then she goes on to accuse this program of lying about her and of emulating Russian government tactics. Tactics, she notes, that include murder. Maybe she's afraid of being taken out, and that's why she's not coming on our show. She initially demanded to come on. Of course, you're always welcome. And then she ran away and wouldn't come. We'd love to have her. We'd love to ask her directly about her very public claims pushing the Russia collusion hoax. But since she wouldn't come on, we'd like to present a dramatic reading of what she said behind closed doors to Trey Gowdy three years ago. Remember, this was under seal. You couldn't see this until recently. Now you can. We want you to enjoy it. So here goes. Gowdy. Why don't we go back to that sentence? The Trump folks, if they found out how we knew what we knew about their staff dealing with Russians, well, how would you know what the U.S. government knew at that point? You didn't work for it, did you? Farkas. No, I didn't. Gowdy. Then how did you know? Farkas. I didn't know anything. Gowdy. So when you say we knew, the reality is you knew nothing. Evelyn Farkas. Correct. Gowdy. So when you say knew, what you really meant was felt. Farkas. Correct. Gowdy. You didn't know anything. Farkas. Correct. That was under oath where Evelyn Farkas tells the truth. Again, Always welcome on this show. We won't swear you in before you come, but it'll be interesting maybe to ask some questions. So you're always welcome.